W6LG for Ham Radio Basics. Welcome to my radio room here on Wolf Mountain. Today we're going to talk about decibels. Yeah, dBs. They're everywhere. Uh, antenna gain, coax cables, signal reports, S meters, uh, amplifiers, all kinds of places dBs come up. And what do they mean? Well, dBs are tenths of bells, and it's a ratio. Even though it's not expressed like a typical ratio where you'd say uh, like 3 to 1, an SWR of 3 to 1, uh, dBs are a ratio. And oftentimes you're scratching your head about, well, a ratio to what? What to what? But let's just quickly go through this and we'll try to do it in about two minutes. Um, an S unit, for purposes of our discussion today, are uh, equal to 6 dB. One S unit equals 6 dB and uh, we'll discuss that in just a second. So here's the way I remember decibels and, and the way I'm able to, to work with dBs and most times you're dealing with dBs you're generally in the range of um, 1 to 20 at the very most typically. So here's how I do it and here's how you might want to do it. Memorize one and we can work through the others pretty easily. 3 dB equals two times. 3 dB equals two times. Just remember that one. That one you have to memorize. 6 dB has 3 dB in it twice. So it's each of those 3 dB is two times. So it's two times two or four times. So follow me there. 6 dB equals four times. The next step up my little dB ladder is going to be 9 dB and that has dB, 3 dB rather, in it uh, three times. So it's two times two, two times two, which equals eight. So nine dB equals eight times. The next step on my little ladder is 10 dB and 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70 dB. Those are really easy to remember. The, that number, uh, the number in the beginning of it, like one for 10, uh, the one in front of 10, or the one that's part of 10, uh, tells you how many zeros there are. So that's one zero with a one in front of it, or 10 dB equals 10 times. 20 dB starts with a two, so it means there's two zeros with a one in front of it, or 100 times. So 20 dB equals 100 times. 30 dB equals 1,000 times. 40 dB is four zeros, or 10,000 times, and on and on it goes. So now, and we're, and we're really done. So now we know what 3 dB, 6 dB, 9 dB, 10 dB, 20 dB, 30 dB equals. Um, let's take a quick step, one more. 13 dB. 13 dB has 10 dB in it and 3 dB. 10 dB equals 10 times. 3 dB equals 2 times. So 10 times 2 equals 20 times. So 13 dB equals 20 times. Well, the rest of them we can kind of fill in. We can do 16, 19, 23, 26, 29, 30, 43, whatever dB, and pretty well figure it out without having to get out a calculator or look it up on a table. Although you can get an app for your phone that'll show you what those things equal. So, real quick, where does that come up in conversation? Well, if a, a guy's signal goes from, let's say, S5 to S6, that's a 1S unit change, that's 6 dB that's a fairly significant change in signal strength because it's uh, four times. Um, the amplifiers that are behind, behind my head, those are roughly 10 dB amplifiers. So if you put in 100 watts, you get about 1,000 watts out, 10 times gain, 10 dB. Uh, some amplifiers with tetrodes in them, which is a higher gain tube generally, uh, some of those are like 20 dB gain. So they are 100 times. You put in 20 watts, you get 2,000 watts out. Um, cable losses. A uh, coax cable might have uh, 3 dB loss for, per 100, 3 dB loss per 100 feet. Doesn't sound like much, but now we know that 3 dB equals 50% uh, or a half. So it is a significant loss. All right, end of the discussion. I wasn't going to do any math. We did a little bit. Hopefully that helps. Um, if you like this video or if you want to subscribe, that would be great. Uh, much to my surprise, I've got like 300 subscribers, which is really great, and I'm real happy about it. Gotten some nice emails. 
Uh, if you enjoyed it, put a thumbs up. If not, I did my best. TVs are not the easiest thing in the world to talk about. Anyway, for now, 7-3, thanks for joining me. Uh, this is Jim, W6LG. See you the next time.